we're always finding ways to improve the capabilities of technologies that we use every day. One way to improve technology without having to reinvent the wheel is to use one technology to complement another technology. In this tech episode, we're going to talk about how we can use networks to solve coverage issues in LAN mobile radio communication systems. So let's get started. Welcome to a tech episode on the JPS Interop channel. I'm Iggy Brigado and we're going to talk about radio over internet protocol basics. But before we start talking about radio over internet protocol, let's talk about using one technology to enhance or improve or even complement an existing technology. One example we can use is a camera. If I attempt to take pictures in a low light situation, like at night, the resulting images will probably be very dark and that's due to the dynamic range of the camera and its inability to properly expose images in low light situations. But by adding a flash to the camera, we're now enhancing the camera's ability to take images in low light situations. This is a good example of using one technology, the flash, to enhance the performance of another technology, the camera, without having to redesign the camera, which is the original technology. So let's talk about LAN mobile radio communications and specifically radio coverage. LAN mobile radio coverage performance is defined by many factors, but no matter how well a radio system performs, there are those external factors that can limit the coverage of that technology. This is a great opportunity to use technology to improve or assist an existing technology. And in this situation, the technology we're gonna add is the network. So let's talk about a protocol that's implemented in many of the products and systems and applications offered by JPS Interoperability Solutions, and that would be Radio Over Internet Protocol, also known as ROIP. Simply put, Radio Over Internet Protocol provides a means to transport radio communications over digital networks, and as you can see in the diagram, by placing an ROIP device between the radio technology and the network technology, we can then begin sharing radio communications over vast distances, around obstacles, and into challenging environments such as tunnels and below grade. Uh, the possibilities are endless. The process of radio over internet protocol is very simple. First, we must access the baseband element of the radio system. A common method would be to use a radio interface cable attached to a dedicated donor radio. The baseband element consists of the voice audio that we as humans hear from the speaker of the radio and the audio that we present to the radio's microphone in the form of human speech. And part of this step, which is very important, is also the implementation of voice compression algorithms to reduce the size of the analog data that's to be eventually placed onto the network. Most JPS interoperability solutions products that are equipped with ROIP provide several voice compression algorithms or vocoders that are field and user selectable. And in essence, the selection of the vocoder is a compromise and that compromises between the audio fidelity versus the amount of available network bandwidth to accomplish the delivery of usable ROIP data. In most situations, GSM vocoder is more than acceptable. The next step is to digitize the compressed speech information into digital data packets. In this case, standards-based network protocol TCPIP. This ensures that the terrestrial, wireless, and satellite networks, or even the internet for that matter, are able to reliably support the delivery of ROIP data. Once the ROIP data travels across the network through network switches and routers, it finally arrives at the far end where the ROIP process is reversed. The analog voice information is then deconvoluted from the TCP IP data. Then the compressed analog voice is decompressed using decoder algorithms, which are really the opposite of a vocoder. And finally, the resulting voice communication is presented to the donor radio at the far end. All these steps are accomplished using JPS devices and modules, or even software applications that contain the JPS ROIP algorithms. So now let's get back to our technology, the LAN mobile radio system, and specifically coverage. 
And again, when the technology is challenged by outside influences such as physical obstacles, we can now use other technologies to overcome those challenges. And in this case, we're gonna use a network in conjunction with ROIP. We can position ROIP devices and donor radios within the RF bounds of the radio system and then place a complementary ROIP device and donor radio at the location that's isolated from the original radio system. We can then link the two ROIP devices with a network, thus virtually extending the range of the radio system. And again, we're using one technology to enhance another technology without redesigning the radio system in this case. Nearly every JPS interoperability solution product and application contains some form of ROIP, whether it's the, the DSP2 or DSP3 modules in the ACU1000, ACU2000, or ACUT, or the two optional ROIP channels in the ACUM, or the 12 available ROIP channels in the ACU5000. There's also a single channel ROIP solution in the form of the NXU2A module. There's even software applications like the Waze Wide Area Interoperable System Controller or the PCNXU application, which both contain an embedded ROIP functionality. And some may not know that the CPM3 module in the SNV12 receiver motor contains an ROIP element that allows the use of the PCNXU application to provide a means to remotely listen to the voted and transmit audio of the voter. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about the basics of radio over internet protocol and how we can use one technology and network to enhance or solve coverage issues in land mobile radio communication systems. So thank you for watching this tech episode on the JPS Interrupt channel. And if you would like to learn more about radio over internet protocol, please visit us at jpsinterop.com.